So it's a wet, rainy day here in South Texas. We don't get a whole lot of these, so I kind of have to take advantage of them when I can. We're out cruising around in the Toyota Tacoma. I've been on the freeway, I've been on the back roads, I've been through puddles. So it's a great time to talk about tires and traction because I get a lot of questions about that on the channel. Right now, I'm running Falcon Wild Peaks. The best tire that you can get, in my opinion, and no, I am not sponsored by Falcon Wild Peak. I wish I were. Hey, if you guys want to sponsor me, you know, drop me an email. It's down below. But anyway, I've had three, four, really, different sets of tires for my Toyota Tacoma. The first, of course, were the All Seasons. Those ugly, nasty looking tires that you've got to replace if you're driving around in a Toyota Tacoma. And I will say one thing, on the new 2024 Tacoma, they're not doing us any favor with tires. I've seen a few sets and they are ugly. I mean, they do the job, they're all seasons. You'll be able to drive around on them, of course, but they don't look good. So that's the first set I've had. They are the OEM All Seasons. Next up, I had some Nitto Ridge Grapplers. They were my first choice back in the day. Why? Because they were so well known. Other than the KO2s, which we'll get to in a minute, they're probably the number one or number two choice, I guess, for people who change out the tires on the Tacoma. Now, those I had an issue with. They look great, don't get me wrong, but the composite material or the, the rubber that they use is too firm. And there's a reason for that. They use that rubber because it's excellent for off-road use, right? You want a nice firm tire so that it can stand up to the ruts and the rocks and sticks and all that stuff that you're gonna grind against. You don't want a real soft compound. They satisfied the bill there. But the problem with them are, or is rather, is when it's wet outside. They're so hard that they slip easily on wet pavement. I've had that happen, or I had it happen a couple of times with those tires. I was turning into my driveway, and in this case, it was a freshly resealed driveway. It was wet. I took the corner, it was a long driveway. I hit the gas, and the rear end goes out. And I'm like, holy sh goodness. Uh, it was a problem. I didn't dig it. I would also spin sitting at stoplights or stop signs, and I'm not a real heavy footer. I mean, I'm not nailing the accelerator when I go, so they really weren't too good for that. Again, awesome for off-road, great for looks, not so good when it comes to just wet pavement. The next one that I had were the BF Goodrich KO2s. There's actually another one. I guess I've had four or five were the BO, BF Goodrich KO2s. Good looking tire, not as good good as the uh, as good looking as the Nitto Ridge Grapplers or even the Falcon Wild Peaks. But nonetheless, a good looking tire and I would say probably, arguably, the number one choice for anybody with a Toyota Tacoma out there. They're a good tire. I don't really have any issues with them at all. They did okay, well on wet pavement. Didn't have a whole lot of slippage, a little bit, but not a whole lot. And I think they're a, a good tire to go with if you spend half of your time off-road, maybe, or a lot of time off-road in the dirt and stuff, because they are a little bit harder compound and they will hold up a little better if you're doing a lot of off-roading. The final one that I've had, the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax. Not a bad tire, not quite as aggressive looking as say the KO2s, the Nittle Ridge Grapplers, or even the Falcon Wild Peaks, but they were a pretty good tire. I would say the top three for me in order are the Falcon Wild Peaks, the BF Goodrich KO2s, and the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax. Duratrax, good solid tire. I didn't really ever have any problems with traction or anything like that. Uh, but nonetheless, I would still rank them just a little bit lower than the other two. Now, ride quality. We got to talk about ride quality. Number one is the all-season OEM version, right? They are the less aggressive, less weight, less severe tire that you can get. They're going to give you the best ride quality. 
when you switch out, obviously you're going to kind of diminish that a little bit. Uh, KO2s, they're number two, I would say. Maybe even number three with the Duratrax in there. Um, a good solid tire once again, but they are heavier and they are firmer. And they translate that to the rides. You're going to feel more bumps and things like that with the KO2s than you do with a couple of the other higher up tires, I guess. Number one, the Falcon Wild Peaks. You know, they've impressed me all the way around. They give you a good ride. They're very capable on and off road. And they're not so firm that you feel every little pebble in the road. And you know, that makes a big difference. I think the big mistake that a lot of people make when they lift their trucks and then complain about ride quality is the tire setup that they go out and get. You know, if you get a tire that's real severe, you're probably going to blame the lift for that because a lot of people do it at the same time. Not necessarily the case, not the lift's fault. It's your tire choice. Give the, give the Falcon Wild Peaks a try. You'll be amazed. Now, one other thing I want to mention is cost. Yeah, strangely, the Wild Peaks are probably on the lower end of the top three. And I'm talking about the KO2s and the Nitto Ridge Grapplers. I think the Ridge Grapplers are the most expensive. And then we have the KO2s and then we have the Falcon Wild Peaks. It amazes me that the Falcon Wild Peaks are one of the more affordable tires. Now, Falcon is also coming out with another version. I'm running the Falcon Wild Peak AT3Ws. I've been told they've come out with an AT4W. I'm not sure how they, those are gonna be when I'm speaking of the Falcon Wild Peaks, I'm really talking about the AT3Ws. I'm sure the 4Ws are good, but I don't have any personal experience with those. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, talk about that. I get questions periodically on the channel, so I like to update, you know, if anything's changed and maybe the Falcons are no good anymore. Not the case. Very awesome tire, and those are the ones I would recommend, and they're the ones I use myself on all of my vehicles. Leave a comment. Let me know if you've had maybe a few different kinds and you've had the Falcon Wild Peaks. How did they uh, do as compared to the others? I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye. Mm -hmm.